A man who confessed to beating a dog so badly it almost died won't spend a day in prison. A judge handing down a sentence that's a combination of probation and counseling for Abdul Razak Mustafa. Fox 47's Alexis Ware was in the courtroom as he spoke out about the crime he committed. I'd like to say that I regret what I did and that I'm deeply sorry for what my actions have caused. And I would just like to thank the court uh, for giving me a second chance to be a better man and a better human being. Mustafa telling the judge he believes this is his second chance after pleading guilty with no jail time to be served. He stands here with no prior felony convictions. The 20-year-old was sentenced to anger management, domestic violence counseling, a psychologist exam, and three years probation after admitting he picked up the dog and slammed it to the ground several times. When those of the Humane Society asked the woman, the woman who brought Champ in what had happened, she responded that her boyfriend was upset about the dog getting into trash, and that he used that unreasonable and unjustifiable anger to slam the dog repeatedly onto the floor, causing his femur to smash into multiple pieces. The dog, only eight months old, suffered from several fractures and severe wounds requiring surgery. Animal control officers began investigating in October 2018 after Mustafa's girlfriend brought the dog in, saying Mustafa routinely beat the pup, leaving him with lifelong injuries. Today's sentencing left the Capital Area Humane Society outraged because they felt with the ongoing abuse, there should have been jail time. It really didn't matter. It didn't score any extra time for him because the problem is animal does not equate to victim and that's where our problem is. Mustafa was also ordered to pay Capital Area Humane Society and the Pennsylvania vet nearly $6,000 in restitution. Alexis Ware, Fox 47 News. Many people also filled the courtroom in hopes that Mustafa would get a harsher sentence and serve jail time. If Mustafa does not complete the terms of his sentencing, he could serve up to seven years in prison. The judge also said he could be deported because he's not a U.S. citizen. Right now, the dog, whose name was changed to Champ, is with a foster family and is expected to make a full recovery.